to run a four hour marathon, what does that take? That is one of the uh, most common questions that I get on rundreamachieve.com and a lot of times on these videos is, you know, regardless if it's a four hour marathon or a three hour marathon or somebody that's trying to break, you know, two hours and 30 minutes or, you know, even trying to go under two hours and 20 minutes, you know, the same training philosophy really is universal across across the board, whether you're a 5K athlete all the way to the marathon distance. You've got to get to a point where you're training far faster than your goal marathon race pace. In your case, it's nine minutes and nine seconds per mile. You need to sustain that pace for 26.2 miles. And, you know, the, the, the easy answer, obviously, to share on videos is to train, obviously, one to two minutes faster than nine minutes and nine seconds per mile. You need to get to a point where you're running um, on the track at around, you know, 645 mile pace to seven minute mile pace. I mean, really, really fast pace that you're obviously not going to be able to sustain for the entire uh, 26.2 miles. But really, that's the that's the the quick answer on the easy answer of how to to run a four hour marathon. You know, obviously, it's more than just high mileage. It's the it's the percentage of your weekly volume that you're putting in that's that's spent training at very very high anaerobic efforts, <clears throat> and obviously that's that's the, the the really difficult parts of training where you're you know, you're, you're running, you know, repeat intervals on the track at your aerobic capacity, which is like 175 beats per, per minute up to close to your maximum heart rate, um, doing repeat hill repetitions at pretty much sub-maximal uh, effort. I mean, to the point where you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, you're pushing yourself so hard that you can't clear lactic acid faster than it's building up in your bloodstream. And it's those types of training um, workouts that are going to be key for you to be able to sustain nine minutes and nine seconds per mile for 26.2 miles. It's it's not just high mileage. It's it's what you're putting into those miles um, over you know over a weekly basis that really is going to pay dividends over the long term. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, I definitely recommend training a, a 16 week training block. Uh, leading up to your your goal marathon where you want to break four hours. I do teach this in the uh, sub four hour marathon mastery course. I'll leave a link to that course uh, in the description of this video. So definitely, you know, check at the bottom of this video and uh, there'll be some more information there as well. I also have a new uh, private membership uh, portion of the site where I definitely, where I'm focused on mentoring and consulting and coaching athletes that want uh, more in-depth types of training. So those are definitely two resources I want to share with you here on the video. But um, when it comes to running 26.2 miles at that pace, nine minutes and nine seconds per mile, and being able to sustain it and not fall off the pace and not be able, you know, to be able to react to the changes of, um, you know, the surging that's going to that's going to be going on, you know, in your marathon where athletes are going to try to make moves on you. And you got to be able to react, you know, in a split second. And you also got to have that confidence where you can, you know, if the pace is too slow for you in the race and you need to react and you need to make a move, then, then you can make the move and be able to be have that confidence that you can sustain the pace. But obviously running easy um, for like 85 to 90 percent of your weekly volume is not going to prepare you to get under that that barrier that so many athletes around the world are trying to do. I mean, uh, you know, somebody trying to break a four-hour marathon to me is – really anything under four hours, you've got to be extremely fit, extremely motivated, you know, have, have a level of talent. Um, but that's a highly competitive time, <clears throat> you know, and a lot of athletes at, at my level, um, you know, or that level that I, that I once ran at, I'll say, cause I keep in mind, I ran two hours and 19 minutes, 35 seconds in 2007. And my last marathon was in 2013. And I, where I ran two hours, 32 minutes, and 55 seconds. So it's been a few years since I've run a marathon, but I do have the experience and background where I know the type of training that's needed um, to run the type of time you're going for. How to run a, a four-hour marathon takes immense focus. Um, you have to really focus in and you know not lose any form of enthusiasm while you're training because there's going to be ups and downs in regards to uh, especially marathon training as you, as you already know it's not a 5k or, or trying to train for a mile on the track where it's more speed em emphasis 
and speed focus and or you know oriented more toward you know raw leg speed you have to be able to really focus on spending a lot of time on your feet uh, and obviously doing that monotonous work of putting in high mileage uh, but also quality mileage not so much high mileage as as it as as it is you know the focus should be on your uh, what percentage of your weekly volume are you training at or very, very far below your, your sub four hour marathon pace. So really the, these are just a few things I really want you to keep in mind. Um, you know, the emphasis that I, that, that I really continue to harp on in videos and, on, and post on the site is in, increasing the pace of your long runs and not spending every single weekend running uh, easy that there's an importance of running easy, obviously, where you, you're building endurance and you're, you know, you're burning fat. But when it comes to the marathon, you have to train more strategically, especially when it comes to a specific type of uh, pace that you're trying to hold, whether it's nine minutes and nine seconds in your case, or somebody that's trying to run six minute mile pace for the marathon and, and trying to run a two hour and 36 minute marathon. Uh, the training principles are the same. It doesn't matter if you're an elite athlete or you're a total beginner. Uh, if you spend more time training one to two minutes faster than you're trying to race in the marathon, I guarantee you your race pace will be able, will not only feel easier because you've spent that time sprinting, you know, you know, at speeds that obviously you, you, you can't hold, you more, you're more so can hold at like 5k uh, effort because you've spent that time, that quality time running at such high um, heart rates and build up that lactic acid and, and work to improve your lactate tolerance, you're going to be able to sustain pace and you're going to be able to make those changes and, re and, re and react in the races um, when your competitors are trying to make moves on you. And, and that's really key. You don't want to you know, get past in a race, especially early on in the early miles and not be able to make moves. Uh, you want to have that confidence and you'll be able to do that, but you have to put in the work. There is no... I wish there was an easy answer. I wish there was, uh, you know, advice I could share that was, you know, easy. It's obviously a lot easier to, um, obviously share ex my experience and to, to share advice with you, but it's up to you to get out there and put in the work just like I had to put in the work. No one handed me a, a, a sub 220 marathon and I had to experience the ups and downs and to, you know, deal with the, the weather conditions get, you know, dealing with times when I didn't have, um, a group of athletes to be out there on the track pushing me. I remember doing, uh, when I was stationed in Colorado Springs with the world-class athlete program, doing a three times two mile workout at 6,000 feet, actually it was 6,400 feet at Cheyenne Mountain High School. And I remember the workout was three by two, three times two mile reps on the track. And I did uh 950 on the first rep, a 952 and a 1001, uh, for each of those reps. And obviously that's an example. I'm not aiming to run five minute mile pace or sub five minute mile pace for a marathon, but I was doing sub five minute mile pace for my two mile reps at altitude because I wanted to get to a point where five minutes and 25 seconds per mile, which at that time is 525 per mile is two hours and 22 minutes for the marathon. That's what I wanted to run. Um, so I spent a lot of time doing, you know, repeat miles in the 440s, 445 to 446, repeat two miles at sub five minute pace. And, and that was at altitude. So I spent a lot of time doing that, a lot of time doing my long runs at, you know, between the 520s to 550s pace at altitude, running at 160 beats per minute, just like I teach in the sub four hour marathon mastery course. I continue to harp on in these videos, so I, I continue to repeat this because I want you to get that in your mindset that, hey, I need to make this jump. I need to make some changes. What is it that's causing me to not break this barrier? I want to get under four hours, and i got to get to a point where nine minutes and nine seconds feels comfortable. I'm in control. Um, granted, it's, it's going to hurt. Once you get to like mile 16 or 17, 18, nine minutes and nine seconds is still going to is still going to feel aggressive. It's still going to hurt because you're at that point where – most athletes really have to, you know, really drill down and really get focused mentally to be able to finish the marathon at the, at that pace or at the, at a faster pace. And you need to be able to, to be strong enough to be able to really handle that last 10K and, you know, make those big moves that you need to make in order to get, in order to become a three hour and 59 minute, 59 second or faster marathoner. So take, just take my advice. Um, you know, just from my own background, having done those types of workouts where I'm out there 
by myself. Nobody's pushing me. It's up to me to get it done. And then obviously, great if you have somebody with you. And, you know, I had obviously I had times where I had, you know, two 10 marathoners or guys that were, you know, two twenties level for the marathon that were out there with me, you know, being able to, you know, pace me on, on a mile and then I would pace them on a mile and they'd pace me. So there's gonna be times where you're totally by yourself and there's times where you're gonna have athletes with you, which is great. But don't always, you know, as you already know, you can't expect that luxury all the time. So if you're out there by yourself, you know, keep your mind, keep your goals in mind. Know that what you're doing is, is going to be hard. You know, a sub four hour marathon is very, very tough. That's a tough time. Um, so it's going to take some strategic planning on your part. Uh, it's going to take, obviously, learning from those that have done what you want to do. And I hope that the videos that I'm sharing will, will really encourage you to, to, you know, follow through on the advice and not just listen to the advice, but apply what you're learning. It's, it's totally different. You know, being interested in breaking a four hour marathon and being committed to doing it are two massively different things. I've known so many athletes over the years that say, yeah, I, I really want to do that. Okay. Well, are you truly committed to doing it or are you just telling me you're interested in doing it? Because if you're just interested in doing it, you're more than likely not going to go after that type of time. It's you got to be white hot focused and razor sharp, uh, driven to do this. So that's my advice to you today. I hope you had a, a great afternoon. I hope your training is going well. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment in, uh, below this video. Definitely check out the description. Like I said, I'll leave a, uh, two links, one to the sub four hour marathon mastery course and the other to the, uh, run dream achieve university. It's a brand new, um, section of the site where I'm, I'm coaching, I'm going into coaching and consulting with athletes that want to work with me on a private level. Um, and it's going to be content that's not contained on the website or on these videos. So it's going to be private training. And if you're interested in that as well, I'll leave a link to that as well in the description. So I wish you the best focus on this goal. It's not going to come easy. No, you know, nobody just drops these, these, uh, achievements on our laps. You know, like I said, I didn't break two hours and 20 minutes overnight and nobody handed it to me. I was out there putting in the work, just like you got to put in the work to get under two, you know, four hours for the marathon. I know you can do it. It's just a matter of, uh, it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when. So follow through on, on the uh, strategies that I'm teaching. Don't just listen to it, apply it and go out and put in the work and you're going to make it happen. So, uh, have a great afternoon, great morning, great evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you next time.